the moment of competition, nothing prepares you for the Olympics. It's just that it's prestigious, it's intense, um, it's exciting. You can also, uh, I think you can also fall the farthest from the Olympics. Um, it's, you know, it's that high, but it's also, uh, you know, people call it the letdown. At least afterwards, you can just hit this high, high point, and then the next thing you know, when you're not playing, it's like, wow, what do I do now? So that part you have to kind of juggle. Um, actually, competing in the Olympics, playing was a whole nother uh, battle. You don't, you are so nervous, and there's no way around it. And even the girls that have been to a couple Olympics, same thing. You, you, there's no um, comparison. And we've played in so many big tournaments before. Uh, we played in longer tournaments. We played in tournaments where there's more people watching. We played in tournaments where we've, we're actually playing more. So all these things that are trying to prepare us, that are actually, it's just so different at the Olympics. Um, I don't know if you, if you can imagine putting yourself in a situation where you're just so uncomfortable <laughs> and you feel, you know, some people call it pressure, nervousness, I don't know how to really describe it, but it's a pretty unique feeling just walking in the gym and uh, walking onto the court. It's, uh, it's a unique thing and it's, it's really hard to explain how special I guess it is. And you can feel how special it is to everyone around you. Um, the teams that you're playing, you know, there's the people working in the Olympics. You know, it's treated with so much respect. So it's, uh, it's pretty crazy how you think you're ready and then when you show up at the gym, you're like, whoa, what's, what's happening? And so um, that whole Olympic experience is pretty priceless. And uh, it's very special. And I think if you ask us on the team, everyone would describe it differently. But I guess that's how I would describe it. Um, the village, so where we stayed, it's like a huge dorm and all the countries are staying in there and almost all the athletes, a lot of high profile athletes don't stay in the village is what we call it. Uh, so, you know, we're always around athletes. Um, there's a gigantic dining hall, kind of like you're back in college. Um, that's a cool experience. Uh, it's very humbling to be around that many good athletes all the time. So, you know, you walk to the dining hall and you see all these athletes walking and, you know, these are some of the best athletes in the world. And for us, I know it was kind of crazy. Sometimes we'd be watching them sprinting and then like three hours later, we'd see them eating dinner. And it's like, you were just, you are really fast. And, you know, you would see them. So it's quite a unique experience being around that many good athletes. And um, I know it's interesting to see how we're all brought together by one goal. Everyone wants to win a gold medal. You know, everybody wants to be Olympics, obviously, but everybody wants to win a gold medal. So, you know, you look at each other and you can just see, or you can imagine, I guess, how much hard work we've all put in and um, how special it is to each of us. So, a lot of things about the Olympics. Uh, we actually played every other day, so we had off days. But an off day is not really off for us. We still have to practice. Uh, we still have to train. You still have to get treatment. Um, take care of our bodies and recover because we were there for about three weeks. Uh, we only played for about two weeks, so we played every other day. And I got to sightsee, I think one day, it was the last day before we left, after we were done competing. Uh, we had some family time. A lot of our families came out to London. We got to see a bunch of them and, you know, hang out and kind of share the moment with them. And so that was nice. So. Yeah, not, not too much free time, and plus, you're so tired that you, all you have to do, you have to make sure you're ready to play, so that comes first, and it's amazing how your priorities change when you become an athlete, and every little thing that you do is based around your performance, and it's, you know, you get tunnel vision, um, I don't know, while, while you're in it, that's all you think about is, is this going to affect my performance, so what I eat, what I drink, what I do, how I sleep, where I sleep, how often I sleep, um, whether I go to the beach, whether, you know, all these things um, is so important to our poor performance. So, yeah, everything kind of takes a back seat. That's, I didn't even know the city existed because I don't get out of Anaheim. 
and you know we're just so into what we're doing and you know we just make this little circle from the gym to the apartments to eat and gym apartment you know so that's kind of how that goes